I learned to speak German and I stayed two years in Germany as a civilian working in a hotel where you had to speak German every single day. Wow. And that again was adding to the best time of my life from Africa because now I was a civilian, not in the military, working in Germany, living as a civilian, meeting people from all over the world and just enjoying it. Mm. And after two years I decided it's time to go back home because the plane ticket was good for one year. Mm -hmm. So when I was in Germany working, after six months I asked for a two-week leave, mm -hmm. vacation. They gave it to me. I took that ticket and finished my way back to Detroit. Mm -hmm. And then to get back to Germany, my family said, well, why are you going back? I said, I have a jar, a job, I have a car, I have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Why not? And it was $150 to go back to Germany via Icelandic Airlines. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time I ever landed in Reykjavik. Oh, okay. All right. That's some interesting, uh, interesting things there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, were you, you were discharged in, in Africa? I was discharged in Asmara, okay. Ethiopia. Okay. okay. I stayed about two weeks, mm -hmm. and then when I got on the plane, I left. Okay. And then that was the beginning of my four-month mm -hmm. travels through Europe until okay. I ended up in Germany. Okay. One of the reasons that I was in Germany because that was where the doctors and the nurses operated on me. Mm -hmm. So I went back to say hi to the nurses, okay. of course, okay. thank the doctors, mm -hmm. and you know, meet friends that I had met just a, a month or so mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. and spend some time. And that's when I realized that you know, if I get a job here, I can stay. Okay. And I did. All right. Well, that sounds, sounds good. And you kept your citizenship, obviously. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. And when I got to Germany, I had to get a... I had to turn my government passport mm -hmm. that said official business in the United States government, mm -hmm. I had to get a civilian passport. Okay. So my first civilian passport was issued in Frankfurt, okay. Germany. Okay. All right. Some of you obviously had some interesting things there. I see you brought some uh, things there. Anything yeah. uh, uh, before we close up, I want to just see what did, anything you want to share with us? Uh, yeah. Okay. About my honorable discharge document. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we might want to. Okay. Yeah, because you got your social security number on there. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. if you can block that out. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. That's okay. And then I got something that uh, someone made when we were at the 8th Radio Research Fuel Station. Oh, okay. This is kind of a graphical picture of the kind of work that we did. Mm. Listening at doors, listening for signals. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and then when I was in Ethiopia, we did another one of those things which says Asmara, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Africa. Oh, okay. The years that I was there. Mm -hmm. The letter that I got that gave me permission to remain in Ethiopia following separation. Okay, nothing personal. Right? No, I don't think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was my, my first document when I was ordered to report for my armed forces physical exam. I don't think it doesn't have any social security number on there. Okay. Who issued the letter that allowed you to stay there? That was that official from the U.S. Army or U.S. Consulate? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then my Department of Army headquarters orders from um, um, Vietnam, giving me my my uh, leave in the states. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then my DD-214, I don't know if you no, saw that. No, I need to share okay. that. Too much and then some literature about knowing your enemy, the Viet Cong. Oh. Of course. I'm sure you read that, right? Oh, I read that. Very, very good. Yeah. And then the rest of the stuff are just pictures from Africa, mm -hmm. some pictures from Vietnam. Okay. I don't know if, if these are things you want to... Copy or whatever. No, not necessarily. I mean, only if you if, if one or two there that you might want to indicate that might be indicative of, of what you were doing or what uh, you know, what that part of your life at that point in time. Um, we just probably put a little bit on the camera, but they 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 prefer not to have copies of pictures. My first sports car, English Austin Healey Sprite. Okay. Right hand drive. My motorcycle. <laughs> Two buddies and myself on the on the mountain road going down to the Red Sea. You, you, had, a, you had a pretty difficult military life. Oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Two of the guys that that um, worked with me, we I, I bought and sold probably ten cars while I was there. Mm -hmm. And these two Ethiopians, um, 